Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Hearthstone. Today it is time to once again climb up the Constructed Ladder and today I'm gonna do so with the Zulok deck right here. So this is the deck that I used to play a ton back in the day and ever since then a couple of things have changed. I know some people run Mauganas and whatnot, uh, but the Grand Tournament cards got added obviously into the game and there's only really one card that really makes this valuable. I know people have been messing around with a couple of different selections, but for the most part the only one that is actually worth running is the Wrath Guard right here. Now, as you can see, I am running Dr. Boom and Lothep as well. If you have Melganus, which I don't have, you may want to consider going for him as well. And maybe um, switch out something like, um, maybe Aim Gang Boss or whatever. But this is a really fun deck to be climbing the ladder with. And I used to play this deck a ton. Now, we're currently ranked 10. Um, actually, pretty close to hitting level 60 as well on the Warlock, which would be really awesome. We're not going to hit that in this video, though. But um, it's it's been good. It's been fun. So let's just see if we can play some good games right here. And hopefully, I won't be able to make too many misplays. If you see me making any kind of major misplays, as always, please let me know down below in the, um, you know, the comment section of this video. Because I'm always looking to improve. I'm by no means the best player in the world, but we'll see. So that we have the Red Guard. I really do want a one drop though, so I'm actually gonna get rid of everything. And I'm just gonna wait for Wrathguard to, uh... You know, I'm gonna keep Wrathguard for turn two, it's gonna be relatively useful. Actually, Knife Juggler is better considering his hero power. Alright, let's do it. I do really want uh, a one drop though. A Void Caller. No, not a Power Overwhelming, that's that's not the one drop we were like, really looking for. Either way, we got, we got some plays right here. We can go for the coin, Knife Juggler, and we'll see what we get. Alright, so he's immediately going for a secret right there. Big chance that is gonna be, um... To get down! What's it called? I don't know what it's called. When you, when you play it, or when you attack it, it, it says, Get down! You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Noble Sacrifice! There we go, I knew it. I knew it. This most of the time seems to be the case what they're running right now. Actually, he's having a Wrath Guard, or a, uh... He's having a, um... What's it called? Knife Juggler for himself as well. I can just play the Wrath Guard right here. Not actually that bad of an idea. I just hope it will attack his face. Juggle the face! Juggle the face! Juggle the face! No, that's not the face. It's not a noble sacrifice. There's actually a bunch of different secrets right now uh, that Paladins have, and it's pretty difficult. Like, they have a ton of different ones. There's one that triggers as soon as his turn starts. That's obviously not, uh, not it. It is Avenge as well, which may be it. Hmm. Another secret. Lovely. Secret Paladins are my favorite. Not really. Hmm. I think we're just gonna be playing the Harfus Golem right here. Go on. Good job. And he's gonna actually, you know, give that 3 2. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, wow. He's got redemption as well. Oh, for real? That's a little annoying, actually. Fine. I'll, I'll run that in like that, and I'll hit him in the face. So, Secret Paladin is very common right now on the ladder. Um, it's actually surprisingly good as well. It's one of the better decks for sure. I wanted to try it out, but I missed two of the um, two of the epic cards that you need to really test it out. Ooh, no, no, this is fine. This is fine. We can deal with all of this. Very good. Very, very good actually. We got very lucky there with the juggles. Interesting. Is he actually gonna go face here? He should be trading the dra Yeah, he should be trading there. Alright, so we do get some damage done to the face here as well. A little unfortunate. Hmm. So we can be going for the Voidwalker here. Voidwalker is very useful. The thing is that it's not very mana efficient at all. So we really need to go for either Voidcaller or for the Defender of Argus. Voidcaller is okay-ish right here. Defender of Argus is also pretty alright. At least it will get rid of all of this stuff. I think we're actually gonna go Defender of Arc. Actually, no, we're gonna go Void Caller. I don't have a good, like, minion to call out right now, except for the Void Walker, but I still think that's gonna be worth. Okay, another, yeah, okay, so another Avenge. All good. Avenge gives you so much value right there, but at the very least, um, it will trade nicely with the Void Caller if he chooses to do so right here. <laughs> more and more and more secrets. Now, he doesn't have any card draw or anything so far, so it's all fine for me, but it's definitely pretty powerful. I hope he, um, I hope he doesn't actually trade with the Void Walker right here. Or Void Golar, rather. No, he doesn't. Good. That way I can actually be playing my Implosion right here, which I think is gonna be my best choice. Second Avenge is gone. Wow! Really? 
That's really unfortunate. Why do you call? That's really unfortunate right there. Alright. So it is gonna be the competitive spirit right now. Pretty annoying. It's gonna give everyone 2-2, but at the very least that thing will still die next turn to one of my imps. That is so unfortunate though. Normally it always hits 4. Unless you need it to, then it only hits 2, obviously. It hits 2, 3 or 4, but uh, the implosion right there didn't end up finishing one of the... Uh, one of the, um, what's that even called? The Silver Hand Recruits. So he can obviously trade like that. Which would be kind of annoying because I don't have any demons in hand right now. But I don't think he really wants to kill the Void Caller right here. It's kind of a risk for him to do so. Alright. So if he can draw into the Doom Guard right now, that would be great. Doom Guard, Doom Guard, come on, Doom Guard. Alright, Void Caller is okay. I think we'll run in like that. Yeah, that's definitely what we're doing. There we go. And I think we're actually gonna just... Abusive Sergeant. Um, and we can actually do it like this as well. Yeah, we'll do it like this. That makes a little more sense. Let's hit him in the face. Uh, we are gonna have to whittle him down a little bit right now, because we're getting remarkably low on health. Um, so far it's okay though, we got a power overwhelming, so we're actually getting close to lethal next turn. We actually have 8, 10, 12, 14 damage next turn. So there's a lot of cards we can draw into right now for lethal. Uh, obviously he's gonna be killing something here, I can imagine. He's just a little worried that he's gonna spawn a Doomguard. Another muster for battle? Oh, I got- I think he has another one. I think he has another muster for battle right here. That's very unfortunate. Yep. So, a lot of knife juggling right here. Just don't hit my one drops, please! Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So, sadly, no Doomguard in hand, else he would have died, but a little unfortunate. If we draw into Doomguard, we still win next turn, right? Well, not anymore, I'm afraid. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to, to life tap right here. Okay. Give me something useful. I don't want to get quartermastered. That's actually pretty useful. Everything considered, that's a pretty good draw right here. Probably the best draw I could have had. <clears throat> Still a couple cards we can draw into for lethal. Secret Paladin is so rough to deal with though. Like, Avenge is extremely powerful. That's okay. This is all good. This is all fine. Nah, he does he wants the quite a master. <gasps> let me cow uh, let me counter a little bit. So we have six, seven, plus five. <laughs> well, I think we're still having to play it right here. Oh my god. I should have hit face last turn. I should have calculated that honestly. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. So that is six, seven, plus five. Yeah, that's not enough. <laughs> I had to recheck. I had to recheck right there. I still think we're gonna do this, though. Still just gonna hit face. Doesn't really matter if you life tap right now. It wouldn't, like, draw into anything that could finish it off. Maybe we, no 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 it wasn't it, like life life tab wouldn't have changed anything. All right, if he has if he has a quartermaster in hand, we are in trouble. He doesn't have lethal though. He doesn't have lethal. Uh uh, no quartermasters for you, sir. What? A doomsayer? I think we got this. Unless he has a Hammer of Wrath. Yeah! <laughs> nice! Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Great. So we did manage to win game number one right there. Pretty sweet. And we actually also hit level uh, 55 right there. Unlocking the Ogre Magi, which is definitely something I wanted. But let's queue up another one. That was a pretty sweet game number one, though. I gotta be honest, I don't know all of the Paladin ins and outs. And usually the best way I've found of dealing with certain decks that I have trouble dealing with 
It's just by simply playing them as well, but if you don't have all of the cards, it's kind of a mess. Uh, but definitely, Secret Paladin is extremely, extremely good right now. Alright, Rexar. Well, 1, 2, and 3 drops. I'm okay with this. Even though they're not the one, the, the best 1, 2, and 3 drops is a heck of a lot better than not having anything turn 1. Especially if you don't have the coin. Uh, most of the hunters that I face right now in the Constructed Letters still seem to be running um, Face Hunter. Which is, you know, not ideal, but it's all good. Alright. I'm ready for you, Maze. What are you playing? A Web Spinner? A Boar? A Coin? <laughs> what are you running, sir? I'm not actually 100% certain right now what the uh, what the face hunters are running. I don't know if actually they are running web spinner. I don't think so. I don't think face hunters would run web spinner. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. If he has a, a leper gnome, we obviously know. All right, so he's gonna coin out haunted creeper, maybe. Mad scientist. Okay, that's fine. Ex explosive trap is always a bit of a, a thing we have to deal with. But what we can do actually is knife juggle void terror next turn, and that would actually play around the. Uh, Yeah, that's not actually that bad an idea. So obviously there's a big chance right here that this is an explosive trap or a freezing trap. It could really be either. Explosive trap does do two AoE damage. So, you know, Void Terror does make sense here. <clears throat> I wonder if we can draw into Defender of Argus, at which point I wouldn't be playing uh, the Void Terror next turn. Void Terror can have a lot of value, especially in combination with Nerubian Nir Eggs. And like, um, well... Looks like it's a freezing trap. I don't actually know which one triggers first. Does a freezing trap trigger first? It depends on which he played first, obviously. Hmm. I I think he has a freezing trap first. That's the only thing that makes sense. I she wouldn't play it. Yeah. That's fine. So it is gonna be an explosive trap, at which point the Harvest Golem makes a lot more sense. I mean, it could also be a snake trap, or a bear trap, but no, those don't really happen all too much. I don't think, at least. I haven't seen them in a long time. Bear trap is pretty good. Like, I, I don't actually see very many hunters run bear trap, but it's very powerful. <clears throat> power overwhelming void terror is a little too good to pass up on, though. We can, we can power overwhelm void terror next turn. Especially if it decides to attack it right here. Then it's definitely what we're gonna do. So that would put it at um, plus seven, plus seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be the best play no matter what here. Yeah. Actually, I can just trigger it right now, right? Yep. It is a bear trap! Wow, fascinating. All right. Oh, still gonna go Void Terror right here. All good though. We'll go. Um, we'll go Void Caller next, I suppose. So that's gonna be a nine eight right now. Very tough card to deal with. I mean, if he has a big game hunter, he's gonna play it right now. If he doesn't, Doctor Boom is safe. <laughs> nope, he's gonna go for the animal companion, and he actually gets a Misha. Wow. Wait, did he just attack? The <gasps> that didn't quite hit the mark. What did he just do? Wait, what? All good for me. I'm not mad. <laughs> okay. Um. So considering I'm going Flame Imp here. Yeah, I have to go Flame Imp right here. Knife Juggler doesn't make a lot of sense. We're gonna trade, like, we're gonna trade that. Knife Juggler is gonna give me some value, but I think Void Caller just makes a little more sense here. Yep, so we'll, we'll trade and get into Misha right there. Um, he must have misclicked. He must have misclicked right there. He probably meant to click my face, and then he accidentally hit me. Even though this doesn't make a lot of sense, because Void Caller could have summoned the Flame Imp and sort of disregarded the 3 damage to uh, my hero, I th still think this is an okay choice. Wow, another Misha? Really? He's actually gonna quick shot. Alright, 
So he's starting to do a little more damage than I ideally wanted to. We are getting in life tap range right here. Are we gonna risk it? No, we're not gonna risk it. Okay. We can life tap uh, low tap next turn. <clears throat> he's obviously scared of killing a void caller. He doesn't know what I have in hand, so he's just yeah, he's just hitting full face. He's running some sort of weird face hunter, but he is also running mid range cards. He's not really controlling board at all. Okay, so here we go. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So what we can do is, um, well, we're gonna get either the Wrath Guard or the Doom Guard, right? Or the uh, or the Void Walker here. To the void. Please be the Void Walker. Oh. Unless, unless you can juggle. Can you juggle? Please juggle. Juggle the thing. Juggle the- th No, that's the wrong wrong target. I am actually in trouble here. He can hit that for six. Um, at which point I only have- I'm gonna be in kill command range. I'm gonna be in kill command range right here. The chance of him having double kill command in hand right now is very low. No, no, no kill command. No kill command, please. No kill command. Don't let that be kill command. I mean, that, that means we're dead. We have we have one damage off lethal. Or he has one damage off lethal here, right? But not a quick shot. Not a quick shot either. Not a quick shot or a kill command, please. No, he doesn't. <gasps> Did you just do that? Why would you not do that with the Savannah High Main? Wait, what? Okay. Hmm. I am really tempted right here to life tap. Hold on, let me have a look. If I life tap right now, he doesn't have kill command in hand. He has damage for lethal out on the board. I can also just juggle to face, obviously. Okay, no, we're gonna do it. Not really what I was looking for. If we can get two juggles to face, we still win this. Okay. One in nine. No, well, that's still okay, actually. So close. I still think right here the smart choice is to trade here. Is it? No, it doesn't really matter. We'll see. We'll see, guys. We'll see. Everything kills me right here. Explosive traps. Oh, God. Did you not have that in the previous turn? How did you not have that in the previous turn? Am I missing something very obvious? Didn't he take it from the... Okay, we'll play one more. We'll play one more game right here to redeem ourselves. Don't think I made any kind of nest like any kind of major misplays right there. Played pretty mana efficient, but it was <laughs> just a little unfortunate. A little unfortunate right there. Okay, last game of today. Let's see if we can actually squeeze out a victory right here as well. Because I don't want to go down to rank 9. Or rank- well, I do want to go down to rank 9. I don't want to go down to rank 11 though. Rank 11 doesn't sound like fun. Okay, here we go. Malfurion. Malfurion! I must protect the wild. Alright. These are some good drops. I guess we'll get rid of one Harvest Golem just to see if we can get something useful. That's pretty useful, actually. I think we're gonna coin out um, Flame Imp, Void Walker. I would coin out a Knife Juggler, but the chance of him having Wrath is really big, so there's no reason to it. I mean, every every druid deck wants wrath, right? There's no reason not to. Jason Pen, I'm ready for you. Okay, the wombo combo early on. Love this combination in cards. He's gonna have a hard time dealing with this. Like, he can go for the Dalaran, uh, like what is it called, Dalaran Apprentices or whatever. But then we'll dive very quickly here. Yeah, there we go. Or Aspirant. Okay, well, fair enough. I do want to clean that up, obviously. I'm not gonna let that be out on the board. Probably worth it. <clears throat> and we're actually in a strong position right now. Druid in general, like, if he doesn't have... Okay, I was gonna say, if he doesn't have to shade up Nakdramas right now, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. 
Sadly, I don't have two, uh, two, two one drops, but. Oh, good so far, though. Defender of Argus can be very valuable here as well. I don't think he's gonna show my minion. Okay, well, fair enough. He's just gonna end turn? Yeah. Hmm. Void Goller does get me a lot of value right now. We can also Defender of Argus and clean the thing up. Which would be pretty good as well. The thing is, board control is very important here. I think Defender of Argus will give me more value. We can always play Void Caller, Void Walker next turn. Even though this is a, like ideal for damage, but... We gotta get some taunts out. I really am not not enjoying the Shade of Nux Ramas. It can easily go to like 8-8, eight, eight, which is where we really get in trouble. Where shall I strike? Okay. Another Void Caller, well... We're definitely gonna play one right now. From the void I come. Why do you call? <laughs> Question is, do we attack? I don't think we attack. A little worried for swipe. Ah, oh, it's fine. We'll just not attack. It's already gonna be at 5-5. Five, five. Shade of Naxxramas goes out of control so quickly. Like, once it gets into the 6-6 six, six range, obviously I'm not running a big game Hunter in this deck, right? So, once it gets into 6-6 six, six range, we're getting in a lot of trouble. He's actually gonna attack? That'd be okay with me. Well, we have... We basically have to clean up all of these things. And I can't with these cards. Hmm. This is annoying. We can't clean up a bunch of these things. I'm just um I'm just thinking in the next turn, right? I can't clean up like this. Can't clean up like like we can't clean up right here. That's fine. That's gonna mean we have a two one out on the board. And he's gonna have an Ezra Drake. Ezra Drake is gonna do very well with everything we got. I'm a little worried of it, of like the Void Caller calling out the Void Terror. I don't think we have much of a choice though. Not the Void Call, not the Void. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. We'll still go for the uh, for the other Void Caller. Swipe is scary here though. I guess we're doing it. Also, big chance he obviously is running big game Hunter. I mean, there's no druid that really isn't running big game hunter, I don't think so. We don't wanna, we don't wanna really beefy void terror out on the board as our only chance. All right, there he goes. Swipe. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Don't do it, druid! No! Hey, at least we got a one-one. No! Don't do it! <laughs> don't shape ship. Oh, you killed the wrong target. You killed the wrong target right there, sir. You should have switched that up. Alright. Do we actually life tap first? I mean, I'm starting to get really low on cards. Ooh. Nah, we'll wait one turn. We'll see what he, what he puts out on the board. Okay. Okay, here we go. I think Implosion would be very useful, but not quite on a 4-1 Ezra Drake. Obviously, it's guaranteed to kill it, and it can still spawn 4 imps. I'm not 100% certain if it's the best move. Okay, I'm ready. This is the old, like, the, the game deciding turn right here. I'm starting to run desperately low on cards. I must safeguard the land. Okay. Okay. This is all fine. This is all fine. Question is, do we implosion the Dalaran Aspirant? Oh, we're gonna play some cards here, that's for sure. Do we risk it, or do we not? Do I care if he's a 10 mana, rather than 9? Not really. 
I kinda do though. Mm -hmm. It makes things a little easier for him, right? No, I think we're safe in it. Oh, come on! Yeah, that's just unfortunate. <sighs> I just needed to four hit once or three even. Maybe I should have like Keeper of the Grove would have definitely gotten a four hit to the face. Definitely. Okay, Doomguard is very good here though. Very big chance we can play whatever we get next turn for free and then go Doomguard. Oh you don't have any more silences, sir. Oh, you're gonna swipe? Sure. Why not? Hmm. Do we dare it? I think we're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah! Beat it! Oh no, there's no beat it right now. Alright, in that case we're just gonna attack here. Play the Doom Guard. Hit him in the face. A paltry task. We are completely out of cards right now. A Dr. Boom or whatever would start to feel really nice in this hand. There's no more swipes, so we can flood the board all we want. There's also really, like, no more silences and whatnot, so we're actually in a pretty okay place here. Ancient of Lores is gonna draw cards. He's drawing like mad, but we can deal with this easily. Ah, uh, that's also not, not really that good a play, I don't feel. Ooh. That's 9-11. Not quite. Hmm. I think we're just gonna play it here no matter what, right? Wrath is a little annoying. So I'm kind of tempted to just hit face. I think we are gonna hit face here. We can always power overwhelming, actually. I, uh... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for uh, for potential finish. I think that's smarter to just save. We'll get him into lethal range right now. Big chance he's just gonna trade the uh, the tree into uh, into that and wrath. I haven't seen wraths yet, so I'm assuming that's gonna be what he wants to do. Force of nature. Wow. Well, savage roar is not gonna save you here, though. Yeah, that is the combo, sir. You got that correct, but like, it's not gonna save you. Innovate hero power. Oh, innovate another savage roar. <gasps> I did not anticipate that. What? Oh, come on! Alright, I'll hand it to him. Well, well played. Hope you guys enjoyed these painful losses right here. But at the very least, ugh, ugh, I hate this animation where it like you know, peels off the lower rank. Ugh, I hate that. Anyways, hope this does show you a reasonably good Zulog deck right here. That sadly didn't want us the games today, but it's pretty good to rank up. I actually climbed with this from like rank 15 to rank 10. Now we climb, like, climb back down, pretty much. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, okay? Don't forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.